back at it again, and we have one here with Charlie Kirk, apparently with a BLM supporter. Let's dive in. Well, do you mind if I film the question? I just want to. No, you're good. Whatever. All right. So obviously, we got I'm, plenty of cameras here, so you're not the only I, one. I just want to have it, but like. Obviously, I'm a big Kaepernick guy. I think that he's a patriot based on my definition of a patriot of sacrificing something large in order to help the greater good of the country. And he, sacri he sacrificed his job. Have you ever been Afghanistan? Yes. Kaepernick ever been Afghanistan? Oh, shit. All right. Easy, Mahoney. Let him talk. All right. If you Military. All right. If you couldn't hear what the guy in the background yelled, he said, uh, has Kaepernick ever been to Afghanistan? You know, because... Obviously, people who fight for this country are true patriots. Um, do do I agree with making a sacrifice is something that's difficult to do? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but at the same time, Colin Kaepernick's career was basically over already. He wasn't playing well. Um, his career started off pretty good. You know, we, we a lot of us watched football, especially back then before it got super woke. Colin Kaepernick was pretty decent. Led the 49ers to the Super Bowl, I believe, against the Baltimore Ravens they played against in the Super Bowl, right? Was that was that Kaepernick? When uh it, it was like Ray Lewis's last Super Bowl. Um the last ride is what Ray Lewis was calling it back then if I if I remember right, right? Let me know in the comment section, but I I, I believe that was the 49ers and Colin Kaepernick. Uh, and then the light shut off in the stadium, like at, or, or was it like the third quarter or the fourth quarter? And that's when the 49ers actually started making a comeback. It was all crazy, but <clears throat> he was good at one point, but then towards the end, right before the whole kneeling and, and stuff like that, uh, he wasn't great. And then the, the workout that he more recently did, I don't know if you guys heard, I think I might've made a video on it actually, but the report is that he was garbage, which is why he's not in in the NFL anymore. The workout that he, the last one that he did, which was like, um, like last spring, this past spring, I think, he was trash, <laughs> is the reports, all right? I don't know that for a fact, but that's that's just the, the word that has come out after the workout. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's why he's not in it. He's not good anymore. So, yeah. No, let him talk. Carly, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a viewpoint held by... If you have by, a question, get on the It's a view held stairs. by a lot of Americans, so I want to hear what he has to say. So, can it's, we... So like, it's a legitimate viewpoint. Him, I want to hear what can, he has to, to say. To dispel him, can we agree that going to war for your country isn't the only way to be a patriot? Oh, without a doubt. Okay, okay, thank you. I just want to... Yeah. So, um, you've been criticizing, at least what I saw on Twitter, the kneeling um, yes. of the NFL players. But yes. what I've seen since the kneeling is more social activism within the athlete community. A lot of money has been raised. Chris Long recently has donated his entire season game check after kneeling. Colin Kaepernick donated a million dollars to uh, many things, including Know Your Rights Camp. I just want to know, like, what is more important? What would you say is more important? Helping black people in equality in this country or standing for the anthem when many terrible people who I would never consider patriots stand for the anthem. So I don't think that it's as much of a symbol as loving your country as actively doing something to help it like Colin Kaepernick has done. Okay. So to address what he's talking about with Colin Kaepernick, Colin Kaepernick, um, there is no issue to address, right? Um, this whole idea of, you know, black people are super oppressed and, the, the, the white man is holding us down. We can never succeed. And at every turn, you know, supremacy is, is, is there in our face and we have to confront it and fight against it. That's a myth. That's an absolute myth. Like, without a doubt. Second, and uh, listen, I'm just, I'm just going to be candid. I'm just going to be completely honest. Before this journey began, you know, um, I didn't really mind people, you know, bringing social justice issues to to sports and now that i've gone on this journey i've seen how just ignorant it is right it's opened my eyes this journey has really opened my eyes to the truth of the matter and that all of this first off is a myth right so the fact that you're even doing all this is just totally bs and number two sports have begun to go way too far in this social justice fight right we come to sports to watch the sport. I don't care about your political opinions. 
I don't care about whatever social justice cause you want to donate to or fight for. I don't give a flying F about that. Let me see the sport that I came to watch. That's just my humble opinion. That's just me. Maybe it's a terrible opinion. Y'all can let me know how you feel about it in the comment section, though. All right, let's continue on. So I, you can do both, but I don't hey. think I don't think you have to stand for the anthem to love your no, country. So here's the one thing I will say. What? Not I want to make it very clear. Not once do I think they should be forced to stand for the anthem. I think they should be able to voluntarily do whatever they wish to do. I think they're making fools of themselves, quite honestly. Absolutely. Um, and I think that the criticism towards them is warranted and right. And so when you when you have a act of civil disobedience during the national anthem in protest of what exactly? No, tell me, tell me. Yeah, they are protesting because they feel that black people are oppressed in this country in ways including education. There's education oppression. There's been housing discrimination still going on in this country. There's police brutality. Housing discrimination where? If anybody knows, please point me in the right direction because I need a check. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, I, I will intentionally uh, apply for a house wherever there's this discrimination going on because I'm I'm getting the check, please. Which is still an issue in this country. Mm -hmm. There's lack of accountability for police when they do commit crimes. And that's what they've been so, so you believe during the national anthem, the song that represents the very fabric of this country is the appropriate time to do that in front of the flag, in front of veterans saluting. I, you, you feel that's appropriate. I am not. I, I want to make sure your position I, is clear. Yeah, I am not going to tell someone how to protest. There were uh, me people, neither. There I'm were asking people. if you think it's right. I think it's right. Yes, you do. Were, yes, I believe that get your message out when most people are watching something most people can hear your message and you can help the most people people were telling like rosa parks the bus is not a place to voice your are criticism. you really equating modern day protesting of yes. the, to to 19 to to blacks not being able to vote really yes. you're equating I, I no seriously <laughs> he got himself stuck in a hole let's see how he gets out of this one seriously I believe that oppression... Are, are you really making a moral equivalent to kneeling during the national anthem of not being able to... of Rosa Parks I, in, in the 1960s? Look, I agree. Oppression is oppression. And I believe that any sort of protest against oppression is something that is a patriotic act. And unless it crosses way more lines like har physically harming people, you should not be told not to do something that helps people. No, I, I agree. I'm not telling... So he disagrees with the riots. Because those physically harm people. I would ask him that right now. I'd be like, so how do you feel about the riots? Those physically harm people. Do you disagree with them? And they shouldn't be doing. I think they're fools. I don't and, think that and they're And people fools have bled me. and died for that flag. I and, don't and that flag represents more than just a fabric. Let yes, me be perfectly clear. Yes, it does. It's into me. You've said your piece. Now it's time for mine. Let me say my piece. People literally died for that flag. Um, we checked out that whole story of literally the only reason why the flag was still standing was because of the bodies that laid beneath it, propping it up. Like, such an incredible story that was to, to watch and check out with you guys. But, you know, I already had, obviously, a respect for this nation and the flag, but... I mean, that took it to the, the nth degree. You know what I mean? Like, wherever that is, <laughs> because that, that's incredible. That's the, that's the ultimate. You, they literally lost their lives to make sure that that flag was still standing. And they knew it going into it. Didn't cower, didn't back down. I mean, wow, incredible. So yes, that flag does represent a whole, whole lot. The flag and this country have and will continue to be the greatest symbol of freedom, both domestically and internationally, all around the world. Have always been. The flag of the United States of America symbolizes a couple different things. The white for the peace that we, that we strive here domestically, and the blood of the veterans that died internationally for our freedoms and liberties. So when, you, when, when athletes, who quite honestly, I would be hard-pressed 
to understand why they believe that is an appropriate time for them to protest. It just, I believe it w goes directly insulting to the very fact. Or guys that are making millions of dollars, how they're oppressed. That doesn't make any type of sense, but all right, anyway. Fabric the veteran community to what the flag stands for and what this country has always stood for. But more than that, the, the oppression that, that they are talking about, is kneeling really the best way to address it? Seriously, no, I, I'm, at, I'm crit. Volunt How about they give away 90% of their money to local charitable groups? Why don't they run for office? Why don't they raise more money to do it? Why don't they start a business? So, um, a few things. First off, how can someone making that type of money be oppressed? I don't understand that. I don't get that. You know, and Colin... I, I believe he was saying all types of bad things. Actually, didn't Colin Kaepernick in the NFL reach a settlement? What? Isn't that the case? Was that Colin? I feel like the NFL and somebody reached a settlement. And we, we never found out what the actual amount was. Um, but I believe that was Colin. I believe it was him. <clears throat> and, um, you know, just all of these backward statements like... Uh, I also believe he called the NFL modern day slavery or something like that, something along those lines, but he still wanted to play, which is kind of weird. So that's kind of backwards. It's, there's just like some stuff about the whole situation that don't make any sense. And then when this guy was talking about how um, taking a knee is helping people, how is that helping people? I agree with what Charlie Kirk there said at the end. If you truly want to help, you have the money to do so. You reached the settlement with the NFL, so you, you've got cash. Plus, you had NFL checks, which, hey, listen, I don't know about y'all, but I, I'll take an NFL check right now. No, nah, but all seriousness, uh, if he truly wants to help, he has the money to do so. So why don't you take your money? Charlie Kirk said 90%. Ooh. We'll run with that. Why don't you take 90% of your money and go put it where your mouth is, right? Go put it behind some of these causes that you, you think are beneficial. I mean, if people are so oppressed, I mean, you use your money to make a change. Also, like Charlie Kirk said, you could run for office. You could write up legislation to make that change. Instead of taking a knee, you could put pen to paper and really make a change. So at the end of the, at the end of the day, kneeling in and of itself doesn't help anyone. As a matter of fact, it just infuriated a lot of people. So it was counterproductive. But hey, I digress. Anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share comment and of course hit that subscribe button before you go and from now on instead of taking a knee instead of doing all this protesting we need to tell people the new way to quote unquote protest is to put your money and your time behind something that's actually productive donate your money donate your time to some of these uh, non-profit organizations to truly help if that's what you uh, believe the issue is and then also hey run for office stop destroying these streets and, and burning down buildings and people's businesses run for office donate your time and money but that's what i think peace and love i'm out